Now in this unit, we are going to cover cross rates. Basically, um, dealing is possible between any two convertible currencies. The interbank market has historically quoted mostly against the US dollar, so reducing the number of individual rates that need to be quoted. Uh, for example, you can quote between um, a PKR to Taibat, you can quote PKR to Yuan, you can um, you know, quote directly, but however, most of the quotations, you will find them in this form that you will find the PKR to USD quotation, and you can find the Yuan to USD quotation, but you cannot find the PKR to Yuan quotation because there would be just then too many quotations if that is the case, if every pair is combined. So in order to reduce that, what you can do is that if you know these two rates, you can figure out this rate from it. This is called a cross rate. The exchange rate between any two non-US dollar currencies could then be calculated from the rate for each currency against US dollars. Such a rate between any two currencies, neither of which is the dollar, is known as a cross rate. Basically, cross rate is any rate that can be calculated with the help of two other rates. <coughs> now, let's look at its calculation. That how is it calculated? So, for example, okay, so you have uh, the following rate, which is um, CAD to CHF rate. So from these rates, you need to figure out what is this CAD to CHF rate. This is your cross rate that you need to figure out and these are the rates provided to you. So you have the USD to CHF rate and the USD to CAD rate. So now what um, can really help you in this calculation is that write this in the form of fraction. So write it in this form. USD slash CHF. This is your first rate. Your second rate is USD slash CAD. And the rate that you required is CAD slash CHF. This actually helps you think correctly. So what you need is that CAD should be over here and CHF should be down. So CHF is down over here. This is right. But over here, CAD is not uh, up, it is actually down. So you need to convert this rate into its reciprocal rate. So what you need to do is, you need to convert it into its reciprocal. So CAD will go up and USD will come down, which you have studied in the previous unit, how to take the reciprocal. Once you have done this, you will get the CAD to CHF rate. Why is this? Because now if you look at the rates, if you multiply both of them, USD and USD will get canceled out and this will become your CAD over CHF rate. Now let's plug in the values and do the calculation. So over here, you need the USD slash CHF rate. So this is the USD slash CHF rate. You need it as it is. I would still recommend that you use this fractional form. So 1.6348, 1.6353. Multiplied by now, you do not want the USD slash CAD. You instead want the CAD slash USD rates, you need to take this rate's reciprocal rate. You already know how to do that. So this a uh, rate that is below will come up. So in order to do that, one divided by. Now what should come over here? The rate that is basically down is going to go up now. And this is zero two. Zero two means that this is 1.5 now. This over here, you can see that this is nine, which means that this will get rounded off. So this is 1.5502. Okay, do not make the mistake of writing this 1.5402 because this rate cannot be smaller than this rate. 
So this is 1.5502. What I have done is simply that the rate that is below, I have taken it above. So I've shifted their sides. 1 divided by 1.5497. 1.5497. Now just multiply this by this and multiply this by this. You will get your answer. So just do a straight multiplication. So if this is multiplied by this, that means divided by 1.5502 will give you the rate over here because this will go into division. So if you do the calculation, your answer should come 1.0546 and over here you will get 1.7. I'll just uh, remove everything that I have written, discard. So basically, you have multiplied this by this and multiplied this by this. So this means that 1.6348 divided by 1.5502 gives you 1.0546. And 1.65353 divided by 1.5497 will give you 1.0553. Okay, so this should be 3 over here. This is your CAD to CHF price. Okay, so now let's continue with our examples. Cross rate calculation given two exchange rates then can be combined as follows. So now what we have is that we need to calculate the GPB to NSD rate and we are provided the GPB to USD and the NZD to USD. So again, write it first in the fractional form. So write it in this way. And what you require is this. <clears throat> so now if you look at it, this is up, this is also up, this is fine. So both of them are in the numerator. Uh, now this is in the numerator and this is in the denominator. This is not right. You want this to be in the denominator. So which means you will have to take the reciprocal of this one. So this will be like this. So I've taken the reciprocal, USD will come up, NZD will come down as equals to. It is always good to check once that is your train of thought right or not. USD and USD will get cancelled out, you will have GPB over NSD. So this is what you require, which means you will have to take the reciprocal of this second rate. So now let's do the calculation part. I'm going to erase all that I have written. Okay, so we have figured this out that we need to reverse it. We need to take the reciprocal. So this rate will come as it is. GPB to USD was 1.4320 slash 1.4325. You have taken it as it is. Over here, you need the reciprocal. So 1 divided by 0 0.4465. The rate that is below has gone up. And the rate that was in the numerator has gone down in the denominator and one divided by so you should be very clear with the reciprocal rate then simply do straight multiplications and you will get your answer so this is your cross rate in this case now moving ahead to the next example given the following rates what is the gpb to chf rate so now you have these two rates Again, write it in the fractional form. <coughs> and what you require is GPB over CHF. So GPB is in the numerator, you want it in the numerator. CHF is in the denominator, you want it in the denominator. And USD and USD can be cancelled out. So this is actually already in the form that you wanted. You do not have to take any reciprocal over here. So over here, your calculation is actually simpler. So 
So you can simply multiply it. Plug in the values, no need to take any reciprocal, do the multiplication and you will get your answer in this case. So you'll simply multiply these rates like this. Now over here, you do have these formulas in order to do the calculations that I have just told you, but I personally think that uh, doing it in this way uh, is better, the one that I have already taught you. And you then do not have to memorize this formulas if you just follow the sequence. Now this is an example. So these are the four rates that are provided to you and you need to calculate this USD to CHF and the Euro to JPY rate. So this is something that you will do on your own. I'll give you some time to try it and then I'll show you the solution. Okay, so now let's look at the solution. So the first rate, you can calculate it by using the first two rates, Euro over CHF and you have Euro over USD. Now for that, you will have to take the reciprocal of the second rate. So if you do the calculation, this will be your solution. Similarly, if you do it for the second rate, Euro over GPB is given to you and GPB over JPY is given to you. You want Euro over JPY, so you will not have to take a reciprocal in this case and you can just do the direct calculation. This should be your answer.